everyone, welcome to the 8pm show with me, Antra Bose and Flora. Today on our wellness segment, Charm is going to be cooking. And coming back to us, we've got news on Gordon Ramsay, followed by some tidy tips. So I really need to get this news out of my chest about Gordon Ramsay. Okay. It's just, you know, piling up right Go now. Go for it. So Gordon Ramsay is one of the most influential chefs and person I know for sure. So without any further ado, here's a bunch of times that Gordon Ramsay has failed. So, if you are a Hell's Kitchen stand, you may need to exhale before you hear us out. Okay, so, in the show Kitchen Nightmares, Ramsey uses his five-star culinary expertise and knowledge to help transform these restaurant nightmares into the American dream. For many restauranters, Gordon Ramsay is their last chance to help turn around their businesses or else they will be forced to close their doors forever. And why? Because the establishments often have bad management or out-of-date food and, well, not the best chefs. I remember watching this particular episode where Ramsey found a pigeon flying around and a dead lobster in the kitchen. I have seen that episode it, and he was really disgusted with it. It was really disgusting. But despite the fact that, you know, Gordon Ramsay faces these challenges, most of the episodes do end on a hopeful note. Now here is it where, where it goes downhill. In one of the 2012 episodes about La Galleria, Ramsey renovates the restaurant and sends this establishment a great chef to work there for a month. Wait, but in November 2018, La Galleria in fact closed. Mm -hmm. So most of his restaurants that Gordon Ramsay has tried to save are no longer open. Uh, I read that according to Reality TV Revisited, 79% of the eateries that Ramsey went to have closed since their episodes aired. Yes, I, I know, but still, 22 spots are open around. And now the show is on its seventh final season. Although I'm still impressed that, you know, most of the places, even though have shut, he could still manage to get 22 spots open because most of the places were absolute train wrecks. Uh, who knows, maybe aspiring restaurant owners may have learned some valuable lessons by watching this drama film program. Hey, you know what, even though his business is, you know, in his business he had a rough time, mm -hmm. he still managed to get his uh, good things done in his career. So, there was a fact where while filming the F Word series, he received a Guinness World Record for like quickly filleting a fish and another one for rolling out the largest pasta sheets. Okay, what about the maximum number of mean things Wait. he said in a minute? Okay, okay, we are not going there. We are not going there. We are not going there right now. Well, <laughs> we should actually we'll just take, take a, a break. quick break. Welcome back to the 8pm show. Let's now move on from rescuing kitchens to well, recreating small spaces. So keeping small homes tidy. Okay, tell me, would you rather stay in a house that is small and compact or a huge mansion? For me, I would rather stay in a house that's small and compact mm -hmm. because it's fun, majorly because it's easy to maintain mm -hmm. and you can refresh it easily every season. So for those looking to get creative, we have some fun ways you can maximize a small living space. Alright, so since we were talking about Ramsey's kitchen, let's start there. I've always liked having a clear counter space when working in the kitchen. What do you think? Yeah, clear counter space is happiness. It's so heavenly and it's easily achievable also. In any small spaces, you need to just pay attention to the size of the appliances like a coffee mm -hmm. maker, toaster or a waffle maker. You need to make sure you're buying the smallest size possible that suits your kitchen counter. Because more space on counters create an, creates an illusion of a bigger kitchen. Okay, now moving from counter to walls. Why you want to have a blank wall when you can use the space for your storage? Just by adding a few shelves or a storage unit, you can use that to your own advantage. It's so easy. we are talking about being multi-purpose. For small homes, it is always useful when one thing serves more than one need. Instead of bulky furniture, why not buy storage benches so you can sit on it and store stuff in it. Okay, we've heard this word thrown around a lot, dead spaces. Yeah, so dead space is any space which is 
which can be used to your advantage but you haven't really bothered using right. it so dead spaces are mostly found under the bed or you know under the couches so you can buy some sliding drawers store your extra stuff and put it away interesting yeah okay flora sorry i know this is out of the blue but you go cycling right and uh -huh. i know because thanks for noticing yes, i see there are a lot of things that thanks. i notice yeah. so i know a lot of uh, people are also uh, thinking of buying a cycle now because it is winter yes. tell me one thing where and how do you find the right space to store a cycle Antra, honestly, having a cycle either in the living room or in the balcony is just pretty. an eyesore. <laughs> it's literally an eyesore. So there's a way you can store your cycle or any bulky things by adding a pulley to the ceiling. Ooh. You can use the ceiling also as a storage space for your own advantage. You can use the ceiling for hanging pots or pans. There are endless ways. You can get creative with it. Interesting. Okay, confession time. Um, I'm a shoe hoarder. Oh. Not only do I buy a lot of shoes, I do not have the heart to throw out the old ones. Uh, the last slot in my shoe cabinet is now officially full. Well, Antra, haven't we all been there? So in that case, why not try finding some behind the door shoe holders? That's great. So they can, you can hang them either in your closet or even on any of the walls. It's easier because you can find your shoe at the eye level mm -hmm. rather than, you know, messing mm -hmm. them up on the mm -hmm. floor. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it's always better to declutter from time to time. Okay, golden rule. If you haven't used it in a year, throw it away. Correct. I can't do it. I know it's easier said than done. I'm a hoarder. Aww. We tend to find sentiments, you know, in things that we've bought and we have kept them for a long time. Although, the truth is you are never going to use them again. The best way is to either sell or donate the things that you've been holding from so long. That that is a better option. I just cannot toss things out, you know. It's okay, there's another thing. Why don't you actually use your phone to your advantage? Because now these days you can use your phone, take a picture, whatever is you know ha whatever sentimental value you're having of a thing, and you, that acts as a memory for you. So you don't really have to bother of the things. Why are you making that face? Come on. You know, we should do another one on how to declutter for hoarders. All right, fine. I'll give her the talk. In the meantime, why don't you guys check out what Charm's doing in our next segment. Hi, my name is Charm. And today I'm here with Chef Ajay to prepare a healthy meal. Wellness, healthy lifestyle, all is an intricate part of feeling good and mental health and just uh, having a healthy diet. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna prepare a healthy meal. And I just want to let you know, since it's my own food I'm cooking, I've taken off the gloves, and I've taken off the mask. And so it's just our day. Nice to have you, man. Thank you so much. So, let's start. What we'll do, we'll uh, prepare spaghetti with cherry tomato, and we, we have got fresh lobster. So we'll do spaghetti with the lobster. And for, to prepare this one, the ingredients which we have, the garlic, cherry tomato, olive oil, basil, of course pressed lobster and some seasoning. Prepare this, just pour some olive oil. Okay. So and how much is enough olive oil? Yeah. Is that enough? A little more. A little more. Enough. Just note to self, I don't cook very often. I like eating. Let it get heat. Okay. Once it's enough. Then we will add some garlic. Okay, I will add the garlic. Now we will add some cherry tomato. Just with the hands like that, right? Since so I'm the one eating it, it's so our it's own food, so. Yes, exactly. And then we saute the tomatoes. Just saute it together. Look how pretty this looks. Once it's a little bit soft, we can add. Okay. We can add fresh lobster into it. Now obviously this can be made as a vegetarian dish as well. It's not that we have to use lobster. But I'm very grateful that I'm allowed to use lobster. Mm -hmm. My lunch is going to be delicious. If you want a little bit saucy, okay. you can add a little tomato sauce. Okay. There we go. It's colorful sauce, taste, flavor. And it's healthy, of course. And simple. It's very I mean, simple. It's, it's uh, very simple. Anybody of course, can. Of course, we had the, the pre preparation just to save on time. However, it is really that simple. The spaghetti we have done, it was blanched, so we just uh, kept it in hot water, so it will be soft. Okay. And then. Directly into the pan. 
Thank you. Amazing. Okay, so it still looks very fresh. It's not overcooked. Every ingredient will still hold its vitamins. And, um, and at this point, we will remove it or we will switch off the okay. fire and we can pour a little bit of olive oil. Olive oil. Oh, wow. Which is great for the heart. So, virgin olive oil, we we'll remove it from the fire. There we go. Put this down. Uh, and as a finishing touch, put this on top. This basil spray. Yes. Ta da! So, Chef Ade, thank you so much for having me today. And um, I'm very grateful that I've cooked my own lunch together with you. Thank you much to everyone and I hope you will enjoy this uh, beautiful, healthy and easiest uh, recipe. That was actually super easy. Thank you so much for watching TTV. Back to you ladies. Nice! Flora, what do you have to say about that? Antra, I'm hungry now. That's all I have to say. I knew, I knew that was coming. I so knew that was coming. So you know what? We're going to keep it real quick and real short. Stay tuned to Midday Update tomorrow at 2pm and we'll be back with the 8pm show doing exactly this. So keep watching TTV.